Hello and welcome to video number five. We're going to talk about configuring the settings and the optional delivery increase. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what it's going to look like. We're going to configure the settings at the Mailjet site. We're going to integrate the email address and validate it. And I'm going to show you how to use SPF to increase the delivery rates. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need to have access to the cPanel's WHM panel. And I showed you that in the previous video. So let's jump right in and start doing this. Okay, so this is going to be a two-step process. The first thing you want to do is to go to your dashboard. So up at the top, click on dashboard, which is basically the first page that you're going to see once you log into your account. Now at the very bottom here under quick setup, you're going to notice these few links here. The configure my SMTP you can ignore unless you want to use Mailjet, let's say for example, with WordPress or with your web hosted script, you can use that here. Uh, but in this case, all that you need to know is the sender addresses and the editing of the domain settings. So if you click on this here, you'll be then forwarded to this page. Now you're going to see two different methods to add the email address. You can add your sending addresses one by one here. This is the fastest way for small websites, or if you wish to have full control, or you can add a whole domain name. If you add a whole domain name, uh, then you have to do a few more steps. So let's say for example, if I had several domain names on yourdomain.com, then it might just be easier to configure the whole domain. But in this case, I'm going to configure a new email address. So let's go ahead and click on configure new email address. And then you're going to need to enter two pieces of information, your email address, which is support at check this out right now .net. And the label is just going to basically be your name, your name. So you can have your company name, your name. Let's just say this is our company name. And then you're going to need to choose email type, whether this is website emails, email sent for one recipient specifically, welcome emails, order confirmations, lost passwords, and so forth. I like to choose both uh, because you never know. I might be using both of these newsletter emails and so forth. And once that's done, you click on add here. And what's it, it's going to do, it, it's basically going to send an email to that address. You're going to need to validate it in order for this to work. So we click on this. And just as I said earlier, your new email address has successfully been added to your database. Please verify it by clicking on the link here. So I'm going to go back to my cPanel here. I'm going to go find the email account, click on more. Click on access web email. I'm going to enter my password here and click on login. I'm going to use squirrel mail. You can use anything you want to. And as we can see, the first email that we got was this. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on the link. And there we go. So we have successfully activated this email address. Now we can begin to send email from this address. So click on continue. And also, you can also configure the whole domain name as well. If you click on this, this actually might increase the deliverability. So we'll click this. And we'll click on add. 
And in order for this to work, basically they've given you a text file name. You're going to need to create a text file uh, directly underneath the root directory of this domain here and click on check now. So if you go to the C panel and I go to home, uh, if I go to file manager here, click O, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to name that the file that they gave me. Click create new file. Go back over here and click on check now. And there we go. So it says my domain name has been validated. My email address has been validated and that's it. Now there's one last step that I need to take, which is the SPFs which is why I say that you need access to the WHM. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is what we call SPF and DKIM. This is optional and not necessarily required, but if you do this, you have a definite chance to increase your deliverability rate. So I highly recommend that. Uh, to do this, you need to click on the Configure My SMTP. Now we're not necessarily configuring our SMTP. Uh, we're just accessing something on that page. So if you click on this link, if you scroll down to about the middle of that page, you're gonna see domain authentication. The options are optional, but are strongly recommended to improve your deliverability. To do this, you need to have access to your web host manager, which is the WHM panel that I talked about earlier. So what we need to do now is simply locate the domain name underneath here and click on it. Okay, so I zoomed in and this is the link here. You're gonna notice that it says missing and missing. So I haven't actually set it up yet. So if I click on check this out right now.net, you're gonna notice two different things, the SPF and the DKIM. Now you don't necessarily need to know uh, all the technical jargon and this and that. All you need to know is that these two pieces of options, they improve your sender reputation and deliverability. So remember, when Gmail looks at an email and they see that the email is legitimate, it's real, it's not fake, it's not some sort of phishing scam or type of scam or anything like that, it's a reputable email that's real. If they can detect that, the probability and the chances of it actually reaching a person's inbox is actually a lot higher. So it says to set up the SPF, this is basically it. For those of you who like texts versus video, it also gives you a link here uh, where you can see a step-by-step -step wizard on how to do it. Um, but to make it easy, this is what I do. I go to the web hosting manager up here. What you want to do is you want to edit what we call a DNS zone. So if you do control F to do a search on DNS zone, we want to edit a DNS zone. We don't want to add it. So click on edit. And when you get to that point, you need to click on the domain name that you want to edit and click on edit. Uh, basically, all you need to do is simply paste what you see here. So paste this here. We're going to go over here. We're going to paste this here. And it says blah, blah, blah in blah, blah, blah. It's going to be text. in text, just copy this over here, like this, 
and we're going to go back here and do the DKIM, which is basically copy this here. Go here and copy that here. Do text and replace this in text with this. And that's it. Once you're done, click on save. And there we go. That's all I have to do. Now, you're going to have to wait about 48 hours to 72 hours. And basically, if you click on force refresh, and basically what they're going to do is mailjet.com is going to connect with your server so that every time you send an email out, it's going to be legitimate. And that's it.